Welcome back. Uh, well, to shed more light on uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi's uh, meeting and talks uh, with the uh, uh, Austrian uh, Chancellor and the uh, press conference that took place between them, we have the pleasure to have this phone with Mr. Amr Abdrahman, uh, writer, uh, journalist and political analyst. Good morning, sir. Well, good morning to you and the pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Well, uh, Mr. Abdrahman, how do you see the timing of the visit by uh, the uh, Austrian Chancellor? Uh, well, the timing is, uh, of this uh, visit uh, of the, the uh, Austrian councillor to Egypt is uh, determined by the um, first by the, the importance of the, uh, the, the, the the strong relations between Egypt and Austria, and uh, between Egypt and most of the the European countries, as well as the, the significant and uh, the important uh, files that they should discuss uh, on this very time uh, concerning uh, the situation uh, at the war between uh, Russia and Ukraine and, of course, the new situation uh, that we are facing in Sudan. Of course, we have uh, a history of relations, uh, mutual understanding and mutual interests together between Egypt and Austria that concerns too many files economically and uh, diplomatically and of course uh, as uh, at the, the level of the nation between Egypt and uh, Austria. Yes, uh, so uh, during uh, the meeting between uh, uh, President Sisi and uh, the um, uh, Austrian Chancellor, uh, they discussed several issues uh, of regional and international uh, concerns. The, uh, they discussed issues of mutual concern including uh, uh, for example, the current situation in Sudan, Libya, yes. occupied Palestinian territories. So, yes. uh, give us an idea about this, please. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about first the situation in Sudan. Yes. I believe that we have a common understanding together that uh, based on the very important uh, declaration that Egypt has launched as, uh, at the beginning of the crisis, which we, we don't need any foreign uh, interference in, in, the, in Sudan because this is a, a domestic a matter and should be solved within the, uh, yes. the nation of the, the, the Sudanian na nation. Yes. We, don't, we don't agree and we don't accept any uh, outsider uh, influence in, in Sudan. Yes. And of course, I believe that uh, Austria shares the same uh, view with Egypt. Yes. Uh, also, we need to talk about what's going on in the occupied land in uh, uh, Palestine. Yes. We need to uh, we need to face the the the, the, the hostile attacks uh, mass uh, or, or orchestrated by uh, by the the Zionist existence uh, administration against uh, those who are praying peace in the Al-Aqsa Mosque, and against the, the Palestinian citizens, and against the international law. Egypt is the, the, the main holder and the main uh, defender of the Palestinian rights and the Arabic rights in Palestine. Egypt and, uh, and the Arabic nation has rights in Palestine history, history, history uh, and, uh, and, uh, on the level of history and on the level of blood uh, connection. And of course, I believe also that Austria shares the same uh, stance view yes, of uh, yes. having a solution based on the international law. Yes, uh, so you think that Egypt and uh, Austria uh, is sharing the same stance concerning uh, uh, several countries and uh, issues in the uh, uh, region. Exactly. Also, they discussed uh, the Ethiopian dam and the Russian-Ukrainian war. Well, so of course, we this is the, the most important file and the most compelling uh, issue that uh, they are discussing. And I believe uh, that Egypt has given the example on how uh, a country should take a stand, a mutual stand that do not take sides uh, and of, as, as well as we are uh, in, the, in the side of the, 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 the historical uh, uh, rights of Russia in Crimea and, and Ukraine, as well as 
we, we, we are against uh, the continuous uh, conflict and we are seeking the, 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 the final um, uh, end for this conflict and let, gather the, 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 um, the, the both c countries and all, uh, all, the, all, the, all the powers uh, around this uh, um, crisis should, be, should gather together and find a solution, a peaceful solution for this conflict that is dragging the whole uh, international economy into a um, dark hole. We are going through a very important, a very, very um, harsh crisis that uh, the, the whole world is uh, suffering right now as a, a, a consequence of this war. That hasn't started by the the the, uh, the, the, mil the, the, the Russian uh, military operation in Ukraine, but it had started earlier when the when the the, the NATO troops were, were, was withdrawn from Afghanistan and sprayed around Russia and threatened its own um, national security. That's how Russia has moved to protect its own national security. We we yes. understand that. Yes. As well as we need, as the whole world speaks uh, out of a peaceful solution of this crisis that is a very dangerous uh, threat to the national uh, peace. Yes, so Mr. Abdurrahman... Yes, so Mr. Abdurrahman, also uh, the uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi during a press conference uh, with the Austrian Chancellor Karl Nehammer also uh, said uh, uh, that uh, uh, the two states uh, uh, enjoy distinguished ties that bind the two nations, which he, were for, uh, which he said were formed on mutual respect and sincere friendship as well as the joint aim to boost economic, uh, political, and cultural ties. The president described the, the uh, relations as, and the talks between, uh, uh, bet between them as fruitful and constructive uh, and uh, are reflecting the country's keenness uh, uh, to deepen bilateral uh, uh, partnership in several domains, uh, especially in the fields of transportation, manufacture, and renewable energy with the aim of uh, increasing uh, uh, trade exchange and investments between the two countries. So let's have uh, uh, a closer look on uh, the fields of co cooperation and uh, uh, trade and investment cooperation in fields of transportation, manufacture and renewable energy, please. Well, we have uh, developed the relations between Egypt and Austria from just a bilateral uh, cooperation to a bi bilateral uh, strategic, strategic size, economically and politically. Uh, I believe that Austria, one of the, the most in, important and is the strong, one of the strongest uh, industrial uh, uh, castles in, in Europe. We have uh, we have the very um, the, the, we have a very important uh, strategy here to build up with uh, Austria based on uh, using this expertise uh, in Austria to help uh, the, the, uh, the building of the, the new Republic in Egypt. We have this common understanding and we have this uh, bilateral cooperation, uh, bilateral, bilateral, bilateral uh, um, uh, strategy that we have, we can, they, can sh they can share uh, the, the effort economically in Egypt. We have uh, open, uh, opening arms to, to the investors from uh, Austria and other countries in Europe, as well as we are, we are seeking this concept of uh, nationalizing technology in Egypt, not just exporting uh, goods or, uh, or investments from uh, Austria. We are seeking the, the, the long-term uh, development, and this can never happen just without, just without, with only uh, ex exporting, uh, with all, with only importing. We need the uh, the uh, this uh, strategy to be uh, as a, as a base of uh, the whole uh, relations uh, between Egypt and Europe and other countries, and of course uh, Austria have a very important uh, direction that 
it has a great interest in investing in Egypt in too many levels, as well as we are have uh, we have or we have already made the laws are easier for investors to come in Egypt and uh, use the the, uh, the new arenas for uh, investors like Suez Canal uh, projects and 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 of course too many uh, cooperation uh, with either the private sector or the governmental uh, projects. Yes, uh, yes. Also, Mr. Abdurrahman, uh, uh, they both uh, also discussed uh, the illegal uh, migration, uh, which is uh, uh, actually uh, since President Abdel Fattah Hassisi came to office, Egypt is exerting all efforts concerning uh, the issue of illegal migration and is uh, making all it can uh, do. Well, of course, this is a very important file, and Egypt has uh, not just saved. Uh, Egypt, not just saved the, the Arabic uh, countries, not just saved the, the European nations from the consequences of the, the Zionist Spring, uh, as well as one of the, mo the most dangerous consequences was the, the illegal uh, migration. But also, we are dealing with the, the, what they call uh, uh, migrate as citizens, as uh, friends, as brothers to our nation in Egypt from uh, too many countries. And of course, we are talking right now about the Sudanese people who are uh, immigrated from Sudan to Egypt, and from, from Syria, from, other, from Iraq, from Libya. We are dealing with them as citizens, as human beings. Uh, I believe this is a very important uh, situation, human situation, that Egypt is taken in this field and of course uh, we are uh, sh uh, sharing a uh, new aspect on this uh, file with Austria and other countries by uh, uh, working together on how to stop uh, th this uh, and how to deal with this issue from the roots and how to stop uh, the chaotic uh, uh, actions in, in the Arabic East uh, uh, towards uh, its own nations that uh, push the, the citizens to, uh, to immigrate to other countries. This is how we should deal with this uh, matter. And of course, I believe Austria is uh, sharing and appreciating the, the Egyptian situation in this matter. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for your valuable information. Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, uh, political analyst, writer and journalist, uh, thank you very much for joining uh, us over the phone and for your valuable information. Thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to a short break and I'm going to be back with you.